Get to work, man. Quit standing in my shirt. Anyway, it's over here on this freaking boiler, man. Or this water here. Get that pump out. So I carry this little uh, uh, cobalt set. I bought it. I bought this a little while back. But I bought it because it has these little bits here, and it comes with this um, comes with this mini wrench, which these bits will just go right into the head, right there. Klein makes one with a big finger ranger, but anyways, and I always have a, an extension bit or extension, you know, for my sockets. But anyways, so put that right on there. Hold on. Now I got me a mini ratchet. Get in these real tight spots. <laughs> we'll pop this off. Yep, that pump's done, or that that clutch is done. I think that's what they called it. Anyways, because as I'm taking the screws out, I noticed down here on the ground, um, there's the springs. It broke. <laughs> so, now I gotta get in there and get that out. It's got an Allen wrench. It's got an Allen. Yeah, you got these little hole here. You see my finger, but. Anyways, good times, man. It's been a while since I did one of these. But anyways, what it is, is it's two of these. And they got a spring on each side that it's so that the pump doesn't get all messed up. But we'll get some oils too. I don't have any oil for this. Somebody said this motor off. But anyways, let's uh, get some melons and get that out. So the cool part about this little ratchet thing here is that those bits go right in the end of that. And it gets in these real tight little spots so I don't have to go track down a bunch of Allens. I should be able to put an extension through that hole. So let's get to cracking this off, man. Okay, so those who, who've never taken these apart, this goes on the pump, this goes on the motor, and it sits like this. And it has two springs, one on each side. Um, this actually does, uh, the material would sit, this is not too bad. It's kind of beat up because you can see where it was banging on something. But it's really just the springs. So, I don't know if I can buy it. Like I said, man, it's been, jeez, it's been a long time since I cleaned what did one of these. I don't know if I can just buy the springs or I got buy the little kit. So, I'll probably have to go down to Pickle Brothers, which is a plumbing place, and pick one up. I think I'll go ahead and pick one, uh, pick a new one up because I don't think you can see very well. But this has been a part before. Because right there, let's see if I can get you a light in there. You can see it. It's pretty well. It's it's worn pretty bad. So we'll, we'll see. We'll go down, Pickle Brothers. Got to take pumpkin out anyway. I'm riding in pumpkin today. Anyways, let's go do this, bro. And I didn't have to isolate the pump to pull that off. So. Got my new clutch, got a little oil. We'll get this bad boy back back in there. Yeah, it's all you gotta do is just, uh, it's Allen's, man, it's no big deal. So we'll take it off and slide it on there and tighten Allen's up. All right, so I got it all back together, put a little oil in there. Let's see what she sounds like. Yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. You're not supposed to hear that thing, <laughs> but. Yeah, you're supposed to go around and put oil in these. About once a year, you double check your pumps. Make sure your pumps are running nice and quiet. Not too bad, it's like 37 bucks for that clutch and the oil, so. We're good to go, bro. Let's get the trash out of here and we're done. This is the screen for the front door. So I'd already cut the rails for that side, but when I was trying to put the string in that side, the freaking other side buckled in. So I just figured I'd show you how to do no screen. Of course, I've already done videos on screens, but anyway. So we'll pull this twine out. The other thing is, is that this twine is not the right size for the new rail. Uh, it's, it's such a slight difference, but it makes a big difference. So we pull this out. I should be able to reuse the screen. I hope so, because I didn't bring the screen with me. <laughs> so what we do, get the screen out of the way before I rip it. It's because I've already made two of the, uh, the rail replacements. 
So what we do is we set this up on side, right beside the old one. My replacement. You gotta get these pretty precise. Because if you don't, your screen's not gonna set right. Right there. So that's gonna be my mark. I'm gonna cut this real quick. Get the oil. Scrap. It's one side. And we gotta get this little guy here. I think it's a new one. Get this out pretty precise, like I said. If you don't, your screen's gonna be all weird. Just mark it off real quick. Go ahead. I'm gonna get this ink on new carpet. Cut this off. Cool. All right, so now you pull your corners out. Now this is the style that's square. You have flush cuts. The other ones I have at the shop are, are uh, 45s. Square is pretty easy to do. You pop them out, chuck that away. Now, because the old one had the little push buttons, I don't have any push buttons, but I have these right here. So we'll put these on the straight rail. Remember your twine rail goes inside the middle. So we'll put a couple of these in here. This will be my uh, pressure to hold the screen in place. And that's all you gotta do is just push it on. And then we'll put another one up here. On this side. It just squeezes down in the hoe. felt weird yep. okay so I got the screen built now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put two more of these push bars you know, wagon wheels they're just little bows I'm gonna go ahead and put two of these on this side too I'd rather have a nice tight screen than a loose screen you know because once you put it together man you have to rescreen the whole thing Okay, so now my screen's back together. And I'll lay the screen back on top of it. Make sure there's no holes in it. Mm -hmm. Now this was cut for the previous rail. I should be able to get it in there, all right? It's already pre-cut, so I don't have any wiggle room on this. None. And get your reel back out. Or, ooh, I can tangle that all up. Let's get this all straightened out. Well, that takes me to wind that up in my pocket. Okay. I'm a righty, righty guy, right, yeah, so. Like I said, this is already pre-cut, so I can't, I can't have any access. You just put it right back up where it was. Get your tool for screening. Push it down in there. Oh, on side. It 
plane lines up here, man. If your cord is a little tight, you can pull on it, stretch it out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that end. I'll cut my rail off. I just don't want, I wanna make sure that I'm not uh, pulling it all in one direction. You know what I mean? So, get it nice and tight. too tight it'll cause the screen to be instead of being parallel it'll bow them in and that's I don't know that's a good that's an inch in the middle that's a good inch pullover man I don't think it's gonna work that gonna you know I've made four trips on because of the screen yeah that's too big of a, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you watch that side and I'm going to pull to get the screen over far enough, see how big of a gap at it, a big, yeah, it's, it's too much. We just went up to shop and get the other roll screen. Well, <laughs> before I left to go get the screen, I went ahead and test fitted it just to see. And now I know why that it was messed up. Because the screen is too big for the freaking hole. <laughs> so I gotta take it back apart. Well, I gotta take the screen off anyway. Just try it. And now I gotta cut this down to fit the hole. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and replace that rail because I forgot to replace the rail. I gotta cut it down anyways. So I'm gonna put this on here real quick. And then I get a better feel for exactly how much I, I, I think it, it's just like a sixteenth of an inch too big. It won't uh, it won't go in a hole. So I'll measure it out real quick. On the height wise, I marked it. That's about a quarter inch too tall. So I have to take the end off. Take this end off. Take the slider out. I need to knock off a sixteenth of an inch or a quarter inch. Where'd it go? There it is. About a quarter inch off each end. That's about right. So cut these two ends, put it back together. Alright, so I notched it down a little bit and I test fitted it. It looks really good. So now we'll roll this out some screen. Rolls out some screen. I don't 
I wish I had some lighter screen, but I don't. So I always like to go about an inch past the rail. Cut it off. Ugh. So now I got my screen rail. I got rid of that old end. So now I can go straight with the big rail, big fatty string. Let's get this started. Screen always loves to roll up on me. That's alright. I've got plenty of extras. Like I said, when you do this, if that rail, if that twine doesn't want to go in there, just kind of pull on it and it stretches it out. And that way it go in there nice and easy. I always like to cut my ends off. Just my personal thing. And we'll do the end. This is a pretty simple process. You just need to take your time with it. You don't want to pull, pull tight on your screen when you're uh, redoing it because it'll cause the screen to pull in on itself. Let's see if I can get that into the screen without cutting it off. I don't care much for doing it on carpet, but it is what it is, man. I usually just, I will run it around real quick, get it in, cut the access off, and then check for uh, how tight it is. That's a little loose, which looks fine. Go ahead and go around the corner. If I had a big shop, we'd be doing this on a workbench. But it is what it is, bro. Thank God for what we have. Solid floor to work on. So I'll look down the screen to see if it's puffy or not. And on each side, it's puffy. So what I can do, see the back one out, cut my rail. I'm gonna pull this string back out. Pull this back out. And now I can re-roll re this so that it's a little tighter. No big deal. That's why I like to cut the ends because it, really, it wants to pull up on you. So, anyways. So now we'll put this in here. And now what I'll do is I'll put my hand, I'll put my hand on, on this side of the rail just to give it a little tension so that when the, the rope when this rope goes down in there it'll pull the screen this way just a little bit i don't want a lot because with this being a big screen it'll pull the uh it'll pull the rail it'll pull itself in if you uh, try to get it too tight just a little tension like bob ross just a little green over here in the corner <laughs> i'm just messing man anyways with them a rail it's still got a little bit of a buckle to it, but I don't want to take up too much of a buckle on it. I don't like that. It's got a bubble to it. Let's see if I can redo this side. Let's see if I can get this down in there tighter. Just slightly pull on it. <coughs> Just slightly. They kept a little bit of a bubble, eh? Cool. That looks good. 
You can also tell if you got too much tension on it because the screen is not wanting to lay sideways or flat. But it's going in the hole. It'll be all right. Make sure your corners are down. Keep your hand out of the way while you're cutting. This is the most important. You gotta be real careful, man. If that knife slips, you cut the screen. You gotta start all over again. You can you can see how my screen's buckling. It's out of. It's just slightly twisted. But normally, once you put it in the hole, it'll straighten itself out. Not a big deal. Easy peasies, man. Just be careful. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. You get paid by an hour. Cool. Cool, cool. Still got a slight bubble. Cool. Yeah, you can see how it's twisted. It sometimes it'll do that with a bigger screen, but we'll stick her in the hole, man. Woohoo! Get up off my knees. So I was able to get it in there. Um, it's it's still just a hair, just a hair. But this has two pieces of glass that go in there and push it back. So I'm pretty sure once I get the glass in, it'll be nice and tight. But I don't have any of those little spring fingers to go in there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this style of spring fingers, it uh, it kind of holds it back against the door. But let's get the glass in and see what it looks like. Because 90% of people are only going to raise up the, the bottom vast. I'm not going to take all the glass out. So, But I think it looks pretty good. Job done.